More critical help is on the way to those communities impacted by the snowstorm in the San Bernardino Mountains. NBC 4's Michelle Vias live on our newsroom now with those details. Michelle, good morning. Hey, good morning, Michael. This is great news. All that help is thanks to an ER nursing manager and her hubby who together spearheaded this with the help of many volunteers and employees from St. Bernardine Medical Center all coming together. We're talking about things like food, diapers, water, toilet paper, shovels, and at other times, you know, they, they need pet food too. They really need those shovels, they tell me. Uh, this is all thanks to the healthcare workers at Dignity Health St. Bernardine Medical Center, who not only donated, but helped packed it all up there. You see there going into that bus. This was at the Resic Center parking lot on the corner of Highland and Waterman in San Bernardino. All the roads are now uh, open, most of them, as you mentioned, uh, Michael, there, 90%. And the thinking was that a school bus would be the most effective way to get these items up the mountain to the people who are really needing them. I know that this hospital has the manpower, the will, and the heart to pull things together when our community is in need. So um, I knew that we could do it, and we did all of this in, I think, a day and a half. So I knew we could do it. The community has been in dire need up there. Um, you know, the school bus thing is a reach out to Rim School District, Transportation District, and said we need help um, or else we'd convoy cars. But, what, two days ago we couldn't even get residents up. So we knew with the school bus we could get some CS CHP escorts. Danielle says she and her husband were so thrilled to come down the mountain and get away from the snow for a while as they load up the bus and they're going to be driving up together to deliver the goods. She says, believe it or not, uh, this was all needed, right? But what they really needed were shovels because many have broken. So that is one item that they are so grateful for. This was all made possible, not just because of the employees and volunteers coming together, but as you heard, the rim of the world united or unified school district, I should say, who lent the bus to get this done. And they're gonna need a lot of help in the days and weeks to come, but a bit of good news for you. Michael, back to you. We can take the good news. All right, Michelle, appreciate it, thank you.